Live from Austin, where Adele Close Christmas is playing and the ghost of Christmas future is the worst scene partner, it's going to be a great night. Now, here are the people who let the elevator get loose and got stuck in the dog. Your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. <laughs> I'm here. It's me, Santa Genie. Santa Genie, you're the one the kids all sing. Uh, I'm a genie. Santa Genie, my friends at school said you were just my dad. Oh, oh, oh. Could your dad do this? Floats. <laughs> oh, my God, you're floating. That's right. Now, listen. As Wait, all... hold on. My dad invented float material, mm. so technically he can float. Okay. Like, I don't want to be a stickler. I'm 90% sure. on your side, but my dad does float. I, too, have read the works of Alan Turing. Uh, <laughs> let me, uh, can your dad do a backflip? Does black back? <laughs> does a what? What was that? What was that? I'm sorry, does a, a who what? Back. Does a what? <laughs> a does back. a what? I haven't seen a black flip since Blade. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm great. I'm Santa. However, per the rules of Santa lore, yes, Santa? I, I want to grant you gifts. Oh! But per the lore of genie rules, okay. there must be a terrible twist. Uh, so tell me, little boy, would you like a second butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Do I also a... get a Nintendo? Because it seems like the second butthole is the consequence, but I would be asking for a Nintendo, and then you'd be like, oops, the twist is you have a second butthole. Oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. Santa has five buttholes. Look. Squirt. Oh what? my god! <laughs> L hey, look! The, the literal throughput on that is shocking! Yes. So, anyway, how many buttholes do you want? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, we, we'll, we'll walk down this road, but a Nintendo's <laughs> out of the question. Uh, well, Santa's agent is here. Hell, uh, uh, Santa's agent uh, is on the phone line. You're going to introduce more characters? Yes, yes. <laughs> no, we're going to negotiate how many buttholes you're going to get. Well, I, I just want to know, I mean, like, are you forcing buttholes on me? Oh, oh, oh. Do you oh, have too oh, many no. buttholes? No, no, no. I'm just saying it's a gift. <laughs> I refuse the gift. Well, that's the first chapter of the hero's journey. <laughs> What if you did accept the gift of more buttholes? I'm going to call my parents. <laughs> <laughs> You're 18. What? They're your step parents. <laughs> like in the sexy way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that's what works on Pornhub. Anyway, I'm Santa. You need more buttholes. I'm here to grant them. The question is right. how many and where do you want them? In your eyes? Hold on. I, 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 step, I, I, I step away and, and look to the camera, uh, uh, Saved by the Bell style. Okay. I time out. Time out. Uh, uh, I think I got the... Wait, where's my camera? <laughs> now, I think I got the perfect way to settle this. Time in. Santa, I'm very much going to take as many mm -hmm. buttholes as you can give me. But first, I need... A favor from somebody that can definitely solve this problem. Is it James Gunn? I need you <laughs> to check out what's happening in this dryer. 
Oh, well, I, I suppose I'll lean over, stick uh-huh. my head into this. Uh-huh. It looks like uh-huh. everything's uh-huh. fine. I, d- uh-huh. I don't really... Step un- dryer, close! Ah! <laughs> oh, I've got gotcha! you! I'm tumbling around. It's very unpleasant. <laughs> All I wanted to do was give gifts, <laughs> and I was bestowed I with the powers. I supposed to operate. Of the like gin. It oh, it's not on? Oh, okay. No, yeah. Are you guys not familiar with this trope? Maybe I've Getting just stocked my own uh, interest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, dear. I'm stuck in this dryer. <laughs> and my my one butthole. Oh, or, you have five. I saw you have five. The rest are inside, my friend. <laughs> inside where? <laughs> the dryer that you kicked me into. You, I kicked. Four buttholes out of you into the dryer? No, I, I, my other buttholes are right armpit, left armpit, uh, and both of my nipples. I traded them for buttholes. All right, I'm going to let you out of the dryer. I'm going to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It uh, turns out, ding dong. Uh, who's uh, there? That's the pizza I ordered. <laughs> uh, 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 hi, pizza person. Hey. Here's a pizza. Thank you. I'm going to still ask you to leave. <laughs> okay. Flies <laughs> The Merry end. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But I think I won't have time this year. Merry Christmas. Oh. Merry Christmas. Uh, I like uh, how that ended. Was that good? No, no. I'm, 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 I'm. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Brian, you, it's Christmas week. Uh, uh, do you have anything, uh, any Christmas wish you'd like to pass along to all the dear folks who listen to this show week after week? You know what? I think a lot of us have a tendency to want to go back to the past. Mm. Some of us may be nearly 50 years old uh-huh. and spike our hair again. Yeah. You uh, right now have spiked hair. Yeah. You have not had spiked hair on this program ten for years. Ten, 10 years. years. Yeah. Damn near ten years or over ten years. Uh twenty twelve was when I learned how to comb my hair when yeah. I had grown up. Appropriately. Yeah. Uh because I was prepping to do TV stuff. To do yeah. TV shit. Yeah. And so now you have spiked hair. Can uh, you tell us why you have spiked hair? It is the twentieth anniversary of Scam Sasquatch and the Supernatural. The lecture, which is which is what? Uh, so so I started touring colleges, and then I uh, uh, the colleges would say, "That's great. What else you got?" And I was like, "Well, I better invent something else." And yep. in an era before Penn and Teller's bullshit, uh, when skepticism was having a moment, uh, I took uh, the majority of the material that I learned in the pseudoscience and the paranormal class I took in college, and I, I made it into a 90-minute lecture, and that shit's 20 years old now. I don't believe that Me? I would be married if we're, if we're not for that lecture. Holy shit, I didn't even put that together. Because I believe that you met my my now wife, Ashley, because she, at her student group in college booked you for that lecture not a magic show right she booked you to do that exact uh, uh lecture and that's where she met you you then you know uh, connected her with me and now we're now we're married but yeah uh, we would we would not be married if it were not for that lecture which is now 20 years old so we did a uh a, and, and by the way tomorrow uh it will be out question mark hopefully we'll see what will be out Sorry, uh, the 20th anniversary revisit to Scam Sasquatch and the Supernatural. But well, wait a minute. You just kind of... Jesus, let us build. <laughs> We're going to have more applause. For no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm here for the applause. No, no, no. It's, it's uh, good. Uh, uh, <laughs> but wait, Brian. <laughs> You're just going to re-release the same thing that's for free on YouTube right now? Well, let me ask butthole number two. <laughs> you see, Justin... <laughs> No, this is uh, a great sell. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 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 some asshole told me about it. <laughs> so the original lecture was ninety minutes long, and it's intense and fast. And uh, obviously, a lot has changed over the last twenty years. So we did kind of a, a rewatch. Uh, the whole program is what uh, over three hours long, right, Bryce? Yeah, it's a little over three hours. Yeah, and 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 so we discovered like some threads that that. 
I was dunking on turned out to not even be present today. Some of them, uh, uh, like uh, we were able to unpack the sort of metho methodological uh, storytelling that I was doing about like the thing on the surface and the thing underneath. It's great. It's great. It's so what three and a half hours. What you're saying is that a 90 minute lecture is unpacked, stop and start style in a live running commentary that lasts for over three and a half hours, featuring not only you having new notes based on things that have uh, progressed since the moment that you made that lecture, but also new commentary from other people that both have and haven't seen the lecture in a can't miss digital download that you can give to your friends and family as a last minute stocking stuffer just in time for ah, Christmas. Wow. Not only that, Justin, but we actually have a bonus ver uh, uh, segment in which I spike my hair and uh, teach everybody how to do the crazy spiked hair. And then my, it, 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 which is why I have a spiked hair. Also, we have, uh, there's a deluxe version that actually has all of the, there's 161 note cards that comprise the original lecture that, uh, that we're going to sell off. Holy fuck! <laughs> Uh, well, Jesus Christ, uh, I need to buy this oh, oh, oh. right now. Now you must choose. Would you like this lecture or another butthole? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Genus, Genie Santa. It's who? Genus? Genus? I just want to let everybody know how committed Brian is to this genie santa improv that i'm in the fucking like the the home stretch of trying to sell his product sure i was literally at the point of the call to action call i was literally about to ask him if i desperately wanted to go and buy it right now <laughs> where would i buy it? that's what i would have asked him yes <laughs> and where would that be in a butthole that you want to put on your fucking shoulder because that's more important than fucking plugging this shit. We had a whole we he he did a he did actual work for this plug so that we could do this plug this way. Yeah. <laughs> but buttholes, right? right? Where can people buttholes? buy this shit? Scamstuff.com. Go to gimme.scamstuff.com. Sign up on the email list. Uh it, it'll be worth it. It's it's quite good. It's it's really, really good. Uh, it is it is, it's like, uh, it is, this is a premium podcast. Like it is three hours of us really like kicking, kicking the can, kicking the tires and the cans on this. One. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a God blast. It. <laughs> Turns out Price guys, and I work I together for a no, reason. Both of you, I, I mean, like for people that you actually do one of the most mind blowing marketing seminars that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I thought my stuff was like, all right. I feel like I'm the only one trying. I'm unpaid for the record. I have no fucking connection to this product. I make that a single dime. And I'm the only one who's like, hey, go to scamstuff.com. I'm no bullshit if you are if somebody in your life that either likes this show, likes Brian, or uh, likes skepticism, atheism, anything like that. Uh, 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 this will be something for whom they will be able to dive into. And it's under $20. Can't miss. Go there right now. Download it. Send it to them. Uh, it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. It is super, super good. It was a great day. And uh, 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 the bonus segment is worth the extra $10. If, if you want an artifact of actual Brian Brushwood history, I highly recommend you get the deluxe thingy. But most importantly, Bryce. Uh, yes. What's our first story? Ah, our first topic. Santa's butthole. <laughs> Is this a selfish gift? Speaking of buttholes. Uh, so, my, my wife and I are flying to Ohio for Christmas Day, and sure so we opened are. up. <laughs> what is that, Brett? You just started. Can you? Sorry, sorry. I'm sure you. What are you doing, Brett? <laughs> I can actually, both Justin and I are here I'm walk off for, the for, for, for Bryce. God. For Bryce. I have fucking no help. Skewering. I have no help. Go what on. Do you do? Go on, Justin. No, weather. go ahead. Yeah. It's just because of the weather. That's yeah, yeah. why. Okay. It was the, that was all that was about. Oh, oh no. got it, It was guys. a for real thing. It wasn't a sex joke. No. No. Because, you know, you said it like a sex joke. <laughs> I say everything like a sex joke. <laughs> yeah. Didn't say that like a sex joke. I say everything like a sex joke. Yeah. Thank you. Like it would have been something. No, don't thank me. Yes, or you should have said it. <laughs> Actually, no. uh, Brett does have a point. You're not going anywhere. You're, you're, you're not going to go. 
I mean, we can talk about that. Yeah, sure. I, I don't. I, I don't think we're going fucking anywhere either. Like you could. You can see there's like the gif of the the Arctic cyclone bomb that is coming from the west coast of Canada, like from Vancouver. From from with love. Uh, 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 it is just like Andrew Heaton's extending boner, <laughs> just <laughs> penetrating America from from uh, 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 Seattle onward. All the way down to Texas, just this like like zero degree weather that is that is going to uh, come through, and uh, we're supposed to leave Thursday. Get this, and I don't know if this is going to translate because not everybody has traveled for a living like we have. Uh, in general, especially if you have dicey weather, the only way you can be sure that you will get out of town is if you are on the first flight, mm -hmm. and at the very least, you will know that your plane is canceled probably like six hours before you go to sleep the day before. But they will make every every possible attempt to get a plane for the first flight out. We're not flying the first flight out. We are flying at six o'clock in the afternoon oh, no. on oh. Thursday. Oh, Wait, sorry. There's more. <laughs> we connect. Well, it's got to be so. It's got to be somewhere reasonable, like, like Atlanta, we're going, Lauderdale. We're going, we're, going, we're, going, we're going to we're going to Columbus. We connect through. Chicago. Oh no. Well known. Look, the the super still winded city. That's what I call <laughs> There's it. There's no wind there. No, no, oh. no, no. Certainly no lake that will make snow worse. There's no uh, effect from that. So so I, I am I am totally girded for the fact that we are going to be either delayed, if not like, you know, super fucked for our for our uh, trip for Christmas. But before all of this was known. We knew we were leaving, and so we decided to open our presents to each other last Sunday so we would at least have a day that we could set the shit up and put the shit away and so it wouldn't just be, like, boxes that we're laying out and then getting on a plane. So I got my wife a present. I will tell you guys what it is, and I, what I need you guys to do is tell me whether or not I am a piece of shit who got my wife something that really I wanted. I will definitely hear this first and then respond. Okay. Bryce actually set the scale appropriately that the canonical worst present that a husband could get a wife or a domestic partner could get a domestic partner is the Simpsons Homer getting Marge a bowling ball with, with Homer the name Homer on it written on it. Right. <laughs> right. The, the best thing I could think of next to that would be like a vacuum cleaner right. or or something else or or maybe even something for the for the for the house. Here's a broom for you. Yeah. Yeah. My spouse. Uh I got my wife a bidet. Wait, for her. I mean, it's a you bidet. <laughs> Like, you are, is that like, like is that password protected? Like, no, like you, anybody. Uh, oh my god! To house will be able could, to use could you imagine a password protected bidet? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a voulez vous coucher. What is your password? All right. So here's the reason why I started to think that I'm an asshole for this, because <laughs> I come down out of my office today and I gotta take a shit, and I instead of going to the bathroom upstairs. I go downstairs to the bathroom with the bidet. So the will. gift you gave your wife is more stank in the bathroom. No. Well, it's a bidet. I mean, like, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't know what to do with it not smelling like shit. It's where you shit. It's you coming around more often to the shit spot. Well, no, 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 no. Here's here, here was the moment of truth. I get down there this uh, this afternoon. And she's in there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God damn it. You're in there. I was coming down here to, to, to go to shit in the bidet. And, and so like, I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I want this more than she wanted this. And so now I feel bad. So I appeal. I throw myself on the mercy of the great night court. And I ask all of you, am I selfish for getting my wife a bidet? I will add in my only context, it's an expensive bidet. I knew that my wife, when we went to Japan, liked the bidets with the little side panels that had yeah. a million different buttons on it, yeah. and they all made little songs whenever you hit them. Yep. Uh, uh, so I knew that she would enjoy it, and indeed she did when she opened it, but am I secretly being a selfish asshole who just wanted to buy myself a bidet, and now I have found myself with one through the subterfuge of buying my wife a Christmas present? You found yourself with one. 
Did you find yourself with one when you pulled out your credit card and typed it into Amazon.com? No, but that would be me buying myself a gift, which is the opposite right. of buying my wife a gift. Okay. Is your butthole very clean right now? Oh, immaculate. Would you like five more buttholes? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. You walked well, into that one. So butthole. the big question is, uh, does she use it more than you do? Well, she did certainly this afternoon when I tried to fucking come down and take a shit and she was already shitting. Sure. Is, is, is this the whole bit where you're just going to talk about? Ne- never mind. Uh, um, the, the, uh, yeah. So uh, the answer to your question, Justin, I believe, yeah. oh, is we got the deep in the bowels of your heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in Deep in the that. bowels of your heart, did you, were you excited about this, this pooper cleaner? So to be honest, we had had a tushy before because we listened to podcasts. Sure. And and that marketing was effective. Right. Tushy spent a lot of money on podcasting. Ad Couldn't advice. help. Oh, I thought I mean, was I mean just nobody could be blamed for that. Podcast yeah, listeners right? were doing. So this yeah. isn't a new thing. Uh, uh, but I will say that but. when we had the tushy, sight. Yeah. Wasn't like the like if I shit in a toilet that didn't have the the, the tushy, it wasn't like a crazy thing. Uh, this bidet, you're gonna come. You're gonna come to my house. You're gonna shit in this toilet. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. You're not gonna want to leave. Wait, 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 you're not gonna want to leave. So, so, sorry, you're not gonna so, wanna uh, leave. Uh, uh, the tushy. So, but, but, is, but, I, is, but I didn't know that when I bought it. When I bought it, I thought it would just be kind of another tushy situation. Uh, now that we have it, and it looks like an, a UFO landed on a regular ass toilet. It glows. It has songs. It air dries your butthole like like it, it is it is next level shit. So <laughs> a next level shit. Yeah, thank you. Your your argument is that you, in my defense, uh, this is me being you. In my defense, I thought it was shitty when I bought it. Yeah. I didn't realize it was so good. I I just thought it would be a fancier thing that she would like. So I I, I did not expect it to be that great. We have a, now that we've had it, it is that great. We have some polling from the populace. Uh, is uh, six out of eleven voters said that it is not a selfish gift. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about this response, candidate Justin? No. I'll take it, Bryce. Next topic. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where's the button? Brian, a shitty shit gift shit. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you want to do that again, Brad? Yeah. Let me try that one again. Sorry. Everybody, back to one. Try to get seven. Brian, a shitty gift giver. Wow. Okay, so uh, gold. my daughter Penelope is 18 years old, and boy, does she not think I'm a good gift giver. Uh, because what I have done is over the last year, I've kept my eye out for like really awesome gifts, and yeah. I have ident- identified two gifts that are really, really great. Uh, I bought seven of each of the two gifts. So, so this this would be a situation where, like, uh, uh, especially in my like twenties and early thirties, I determined that for whenever I would go to like weddings or like have like friends that like, especially because all my friends had MacBooks, the one thing for which I could always buy was another MacBook charger, mm-hmm. right? Because nobody's ever been like. Fuck, I got too many MacBook chargers. They're always like, God damn it, I forgot my MacBook charger. And so I just realized this is a utility. I have I have found a hole in the the, the market efficiency mm-hmm. of gifts, and now I'm going to to take advantage of it. You say you have found two of them. So Penny is of the mind that no 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 no, you're doing everything backward. What you do is you look at the person, you figure out their hopes, their dreams, their mm-hmm. desires, and you craft a perfect gift to give to them. I have done the reverse. I have found something that utilitarian-wise is wonderful and awesome and blogs are screaming about, and I bought 14 of them, and now I just got to figure out who to give what to, like how many people already have this thing or, yeah. or what have you. Uh, uh, by the way, you're getting one of these I, I'm items. getting one of them, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 am, am I a shitty gift giver by, by identifying a cool thing and then plugging it into the person, or should I always begin with the person and then figure out what the cool thing is? No, I I, I think that what Penny suffers from is a lot of time, and and I hope that she eventually grows up to have as many 
responsibilities and spinning creative plates that when Christmas comes around, she says, oh, fuck, I really love 14 people and I want them to feel good on Christmas. What's the fastest way that I can go from my care about how they feel on Christmas to them feeling good on Christmas? Well, shit, I like this thing. I like this thing. Let me buy seven of each and I'll make sure that nobody I knows uh, uh, doesn't get a gift from me and everything will be amazing. I, I, I hope that for her in her life. I feel like you and I are two keys turned on this. Yes. But I feel like you and I are weirdos and we may not be everybody. Brett, am I a, am I a bad gift giver? Uh, first of all, I think you are wonderful for giving any kind of gift. That is that is a a laudable thing to do. I am not one of those gift givers. That being said, Siri, remind me tomorrow morning to give a gift to Brett. Okay. <laughs> that being said, I have been the recipient of gifts that were bought in bulk, and uh, but that was my father who is horrible at picking out gifts. They uh -oh. were a uh -oh. woven belt. I got a woven belt that my my brother-in-law had the exact same woven belt, and he gave me a watch once that I couldn't set the time on it. So that there, is, there, is, is that what it said on the packaging? It it's was a yeah, watch that you the can't unsettable it was, watch. It was a, <laughs> try as you might, you can't set the time. It was like one of those swatches, but like a knockoff swatch, and I could never set the time. It was off, and it just I just threw it away. I was like, wow. But, but, you waste. Yeah. You yeah. waste. Okay. All right. Sure. So uh, Brett doesn't want a gift. Uh, what about you, Bryce? No, but I said it's <laughs> laudable that you're doing that. You're giving a gift. You wait, wait, well, hold on, wait, wait. but it sounds like your take is it really depends on how good the actual gift is. There you go. Because if he's getting a woven belt, then he's a piece of shit. Yes. If he's getting some Brookstone stuff that like all of a sudden you're like, wow, I didn't That's know a cool. rock could tell time and set my calendar. Exactly. Like then, then he's amazing. So this actually is just putting more pressure on you yep. on how good this thing is. They're, they're both quite good in my opinion so not woven belts uh let me would put you it, admit it right now if they were woven belts they are not woven belts not woven but belts. i will admit okay. that i wanted to buy both of them for myself <laughs> they were both bowling balls with the name homer on them that's uh, totally fine though if you gotcha. buy it up for yourself it, and you give it to other gotcha. people then you're fine so a cameo from teller and <laughs> 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 Now I got a question. <laughs> now, yes. Now, okay. You know, you said you you bought seven of both of these things. Yeah. Yes. Are you? Did you buy fourteen items, or did you end up buying sixteen items? Uh, wait, no, fourteen. Uh, yeah, you two. didn't get you didn't get Brian Brush with a little something from twelve. Well, my wife needs a gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go back to the toilet. So thing. Let's maybe, go back to the maybe one of them is for my missus. Mm. <laughs> well, I, 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 I do think that right now our final result on this conversation is incomplete for now, depending on whether or not this gift delivers in the way that you believe it is going to deliver. Yes. Uh, and I will also say, that my gift to you is very personal and was not repeated through any of my other friends or family. Fuck Bryce, you. next topic! Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Our next topic! I'm just going to write your name cool. on the box. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, What's uh, a Ryer? Uh, Ryer Appledorn, I believe his last name is. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. What, How what did Ryer come on our radar? Uh, well... I have since learned radar. that that uh, uh, he interned with graphic design work for uh, Matt Donnelly. Indeed, produced a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, their version. Of, we are stealing all of their talent. Yes, right now because we are currently God, both wearing so. T-shirts from Brogan. Yep, uh, 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 that 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 she made based on on, on uh, a line that you said. We did not plan to wear matching t-shirts tonight no. just we, happens we, we randomly were wearing matching t-shirts tonight and then ryer uh who made uh, uh what during the uh founders day weekend uh, he was commissioned to make one brape sign brape brape oh that the sounds brushwood the brushwood recording, recording and podcasting emporium enclave yeah. uh, enclave mm-hmm 
maybe he made 52 instead of one. And maybe all 52 were so amazing that Brian They're had all no here. reason to not be furious with him because <laughs> the craftsmanship was so fucking high. Uh, well, so Bonnie wisely reached out to Ryer to say, hey, I'm doing the biggest art show of my career to date, the, the Armadillo Christmas Bazaar here in Austin. And uh, uh, she said, I, I, I want a background that says the word fabulous and a place to put a bunch of my art. And then that way I can, you know, people can come to the booth and I could say, oh, you look fabulous. Let me take a picture of you. And then they'll have a talisman to hold on to. All of us, perfect, pitch perfect. Uh, Ryer builds this extraordinary uh, stand up and then says, yeah, I don't know. Seems like I should just drive it down to you. Uh, and Bonnie's like, well, where, where are you? And he's like, Michigan. And then, the just, <laughs> and then just drives down. Ryer is one of the most remarkable human beings I've ever experienced. And I'm fascinated. And I, I look forward to a friendship because you had an experience with Ryer that I thought was fairly <laughs> illustrative. So uh, for, for reasons that are not important, I wind up helping load in Bonnie into this art show last Friday, right? Yeah, yeah, last Friday. And we're, we're trying to figure out, because all the cars are really loaded up, uh, uh, like who I'm going to ride with. I would normally ride with Brian because I'm normally bullshitting with Brian most of my life. And But because of the car that Brian's driving, I'm riding with Ryer. Ryer, an amazing person, uh, uh, but, but, but not exactly, you know, fucking Johnny Carson in terms of like, you know, just keeping the conversation going. And uh, so but, uh, specifically, he's 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 no bullshit to a degree that I've never experienced in another human. No, being. Yeah, yeah, and I don't say that to mean that he's yeah. he's he's shy or anything. Like like he's more Clint Eastwood than Johnny Carson. Yeah, like like he is he is stoic on on a certain level. But we're in the car, we're driving, I'm bullshitting on my phone, uh, and he's like, "So what do you want people to know about you?" And how do you respond to that prompt? I, I don't know, man. Uh, uh, I'm a podcaster. I moved here a couple years ago. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't. I, I don't know. Like, what, 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 what do you want to know about me? And he's like, "Oh, I don't know." And I'm like, "Well, what the fuck? What, <laughs> like, what is what is that fucking like? Like, what do you? What, what do? What do I want you to know about me? That's a bullshit question." Because anything I want you to know about me, I'm gonna tell you. Like, like I'm not, I'm not gonna like, like oh, he's be shy mad. about it. If I want you to know, I will make you known. Uh, what do you want me to know about you? And he's like, nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, uh -uh. we're the closest we've ever been in life. <laughs> like, I've never had an immediate fucking connection like I've had with Ryer. Because in that moment, I'm like, great. I don't want you to fucking know shit about me. I don't want you. To, I, I don't want, want to feel expected that I need to know shit about you. We are now totally sympathetical. We can rob a bank. We can get married. I don't. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck is going on. Married. Whatever it is, we are now totally connected because we have made this one revolutionary discovery. Now, uh, part of me, upon hearing this, wanted to think, uh, "Oh, that was probably a, a, a colorful telling of a, a, a moment that you guys had." But then we went to go to, to, to our favorite sports bar. And uh, first of all, like Ryer's eyes are scanning all of the 75 different televisions. There like, are a lot like, of fucking TVs. A lot of TVs, lot right? Of TVs, yeah. uh, and, and, and so and some of them are unfair ADD crack. Yes. Where yes. it's just like, like up somebody doing the a flip and then they cut a cake, but the cake is actually Beatles. And then <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. and then the Beatles all fuck like for five seconds. And then it's another picture so here's here's how you know like like where the rubber meets the road like like that Ryer is an authentically amazing human being is a uh, uh, person comes up and says uh, what would you like to drink and he says anything you want uh, it, <laughs> true he did and, say that and so he comes back with a beer and uh, I, I believe Ryer's 28 years old we toast each other and as we go to sip Ryer casually mentions. This is the first beer I've ever had. What? <laughs> yes. Yes. No, no, no. And, Real and, thing. And then, and then, Real and thing. My reaction, <laughs> my reaction is, 
how fucking old are you? Because like in my mind, I'm like, like is this dude fucking 19? Like, is he just like right. a great? No, he, no, he does no, have no, that timeless like, look where where it's like it wouldn't surprise me to find out he's 19 yeah, or no, 39 or he's whatever. Fucking, he's he's in his in his mid to late 20s and and uh, he's like, oh no, I I don't drink in general and I usually drink these other things and I'm like, well fucking okay. And then the dude comes in and says, hey, what food do you want? And he's like, whatever. <laughs> And he's like, hey, do you have any allergies? Allergic to nothing. I eat everything. <laughs> um, dude comes back with like this steak sandwich, and Ryer's like, yeah, this is great. Whatever. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryer, because he's so metal, like, like uh, he apparently sleeps like only two hours a night uh, and drove down from like when he arrived from Michigan. I was like, uh, well, so how was the trip or whatever? And he was like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm fine. And, and then I, I, I probe him a little bit to find out that the last time he woke up was yesterday at 4 a.m., and that he's driven all night to be here, so we're just hanging out at the campfire. And then, uh, and, and so uh, uh, I, I, he does go to bed that night, but, I, you know, we load in, show's set, everything's good. Yep. I'm terribly afraid that at any moment he's just going to run back up to <laughs> Michigan. Yeah. And so... Uh, I was like, hey, you can stay another day or whatever. He's like, yeah. Um, you know, Brian, it uh, took you two or three days to actually get on the phone with me. I get the impression that you have a lot going on. I was like, yeah, no, 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 I do. I, 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 I get pulled away a lot. And he's like, yeah. Is that going to happen tonight? And essentially, he says, be interesting or I'm going to Michigan yep. right now. Yep. That's not how <laughs> I read it. <laughs> that, that, I, 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 mean, that, I, I, I read it as, are you going to bail on me? Well, wait, oh, okay. like, no, he, he <laughs> barely. No, 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 no. That description physically might be the exact same thing from two different perspectives. Yes. I was very proud to be interesting. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And then eventually it, it got to like 7 or 8 p.m. And he's like, all right, bye. <laughs> like, 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 I, he I, bailed that night. He didn't even. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. He, he, he's he's made of of sterner stuff than you or I. Like, oh yeah. He he, he just yeah. was like, uh, this is no longer interesting. Goodbye, uh, and off he went. And I, I I'm very glad that he was safe. I'm very glad that he had a setup where he could sleep uh, to his satisfaction. He is he is one of the most interesting humans I've ever met in my entire life. Yeah. No. Uh. 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 Ryer. You're the king of Christmas. Huzzah! Huzzah! Half court butthole! Uh, Bryce, the next topic. Our next topic. Scoot Saga. I got a story. Yeah. <laughs> Over the weekend. Bryce has a meat cute. No. <laughs> I, uh. You know uh, what a meat cute is, Brian? Yeah, it's where you, uh. You're like, oh, dear. That's an attractive human. Yes, I remember the first time I heard about meat cutes. My mom used to read a poem book about them. Here is a meat meat cute, so happy and <laughs> fly. Bryce, go ahead with your story. <laughs> so over the weekend on Sunday, I went to go watch Avatar Two: The Shape of Water Part Two. Yeah, and uh, uh, and. I went to a, I went the to, shape of water or the way of it's water. The way of water. The but, shape, but but Avatar, the shape water of water too. was the other one, right? Oh yeah, that was the that was the, the, that was the lady fucks the the monster man. Yeah, I should yeah. watch that. Um, uh, so I went to go watch Avatar. And, yeah. Uh, I didn't go to an Alamo. Uh, Alamo's expensive, so I just went yeah. to a cheaper place. And there were a lot of people there at the screening for Avatar. It was the six o'clock showing on a Sunday night. And wow, still packed, huh? Uh, I wouldn't say it was like shoulder to shoulder, but there was there was at least fifty or sixty people in there. Yep. Uh, and uh, I got in there. Did a you have early. a hard time navigating your way? Uh, no. I uh, did the. I did a. Uh, one, uh, oh, anybody? Oh, anybody? No. no? Okay. <laughs> Thank Just you. Checking for another applause break. Go ahead. Just, uh -huh. Just, uh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> and so uh, I sat down. I'm I'm getting all settled. You know when you get settled in a. When you get settled in your seat, right? You got your jacket off. You put yeah. Your phone. Are you are you are, are you solo rider? Or are you with people? I'm a solo rider. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and I like I kind of like to plant. 
uh, when I when I, I are you are you are you a food and drink guy? You get had some popcorn and a soda. Uh, sometimes I'll do a soda, um, but not. I didn't even do that this time. I didn't. You, get, did, you just I walk just, in, get you get your ticket torn, and then you're 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 into the theater and you're parking in. Yeah, exactly. And so I'm sitting there. I'm watching Maria Menounos do her thing. <laughs> She's doing <laughs> doing the two. Yeah. And hey, so, who wants to see another ad? <laughs> Here yeah. it is. And so there's a guy sitting two seats down from me, and I, hey, that's fine. There's a guy, you know. There's space. anyone in between? There's no one in between. A gulf yet. Got you. Uh, just before the movie shows Sounds up, like someone me cute. Someone scoots up and uh, goes past me and sits in that gap. So now I've got like eight empty spaces on the right, and these two guys immediately to my left. Yeah. And they're still doing the pre-show, and I'm like, oh. This movie is like 80 hours long. I can't be sitting next to some guy, some random stranger trying to like share the armrest. Okay. All right. So, so again, you are not in an assigned seat theater. Right. Everything it's all, it's is, open. everything is catch as catch can. Uh, and how far into Maria Menounos is the two are you? That you feel like you need to make a a final call on where you're going to sit for the I, bulk I, of this movie. I, I I think what Justin's trying to say, Bryce, is at what Sorry point? For a very specific question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to inject this. <laughs> sure, I, yeah. I, I, I I love to picture yeah. Bryce saying, "I'm sorry, gentlemen." I was working in the lab late tonight. It, 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 you, you thought I would say that. You yeah, wanted me yeah, to say that. I, I would like to imagine that. Sorry. that's And we're done. <laughs> so I there's there's only a few minutes sorry. left. It's, it's your fault we're friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> you picked me. I didn't pick you. Dude, my gift so, is going to fucking crush. I'm just saying. So uh, and there's probably a, just a couple of minutes left in the pre-show stuff. The lights are still on. Uh, Wait, a couple of minutes. Uh, she only does the two. Well, I, I I don't know. I actually got. I like to get there late for these non Alamo ones because I know that they're gonna start a half hour after they say they're gonna start. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, he sits down. There's a few minutes left. And I'm like, I'm not gonna. I can't possibly. I can't be sitting next to a person for this whole movie. I need. I need to have my arm right. For James Cameron made the movie so long. Yes. I I should have brought a pillow. Anyway. Yeah. Uh. So I I, I I'm like. Having, I'm having to hype myself up in the scene. I'm like, okay, you just gotta move, and but you gotta say something to them so it doesn't seem like you're disgusted by them. <laughs> it's just to... like a very like non problematic Woody Allen situation. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I, uh, I, I don't even put my jacket on. I got my my phone and my thing, my, my AirPods in the uh, in the in the rest, and I I just. Pick up the ones from the left. Oh wait, hold on. Right. So you settled in? Like I settled you are, in. you are like, like you're putting oh, yeah. shit in the rest, like it's a fucking mm. like a nightstand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, That's and, a weird thing we should unpack later. But wait, go what? ahead. It's no. a weird thing, but go, 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 so, go, 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 go. So I start picking stuff up. I, 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 I just like mutter like, "Hey, I'm gonna. This is not you. This is me. I'm just. I'm just gonna. I need to scoot." <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this is where it got weird. Like, like, since when do you need permission or to explain yeah. why you're moving a seat over? Uh, but it, I just, just be a civilized adult and say, what's that? Oh, exactly. Hey, 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 audio what? listeners, Brian has brought his phone up to his head. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, be a fucking human and make a fake phone call. and just Like a like, human Wait, would. Bro, bro, for real? All right, I'm moving. Okay, and I'm moving move now. Over. Oh, you you missed it. Oh, doggone it! I'll, I'll find some other seat. Okay, so your your suggestion is that the most human thing to do would be to fucking lie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Society yeah, is built yeah, on lies. No. No. Uh, I think the most human thing is to fucking lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Love you. I was I was glad I did because. Uh, Bye, Nana. Oh, bye, Nana. And so if... I, oh, he's still on the phone. She's, uh, she must be talking about yeah, the bridge I'm game. I'm preserving my options. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I, I wanted to squash it. I wanted there to not be any... I want to squash it. Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 I wanted wait, nothing wait. to happen. I wanted no one to... Do you think they, they were going to chase you? No. I but... want nothing to happen. <laughs> I hope they won't chase me, Nana. I don't want them to... I don't want anyone... Look, if I don't want anyone. I don't want anyone. If if there's 
I don't want to. I don't want him to be anxious. Like, what? Why did he? Did, is it because I stink? Is it because I'm loud? Is it like, like? <laughs> is it I just want him on the phone pretending to have all these. So, inner so, monologues? so, so you got into your head, yeah. because you were worried at what they would think about you moving. Yeah, which I you're should, a fucking crazy. Person. I need to show this clip you're to my crazy therapist. Person. This is a very specific yes. problem I got. Yeah. But, uh, but I so I I I had this withering, just like uh, I'm gonna move. It's not you, it's me. And no, no, no. no. By, uh, by the way, Curtis LeBrock in our chat makes the the most salient point, which is be an actual pro. Aside from Brian, who by the way is still on a fake <laughs> phone call with his nana. Oh wow, I hope that's uh, not uh, international. But wait until the movie starts and then move. What? What? Because then, a, you can be assured that nobody else is going to be in there unless they're coming in late. At that point, they're in a cloud of shame. Mm. They will move wherever they're going to go at the path of least resistance. And like you are under cover of darkness. Literally, it's where all dirt is done. Uh, also, mutter the words "Oh dear, oh dear" a lot, and then nobody will ask you. No, because then, because what he's worried about is that he's gonna think that like he smells. Uh, right. Oh, did dear. he smell? No, it seemed perfectly fine. What did he smell like though? <laughs> no, I wasn't really olfactory. Yeah, listening, responsive, but it I still sounds like a me cue. <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe I missed a huge neon sign about this. Maybe I was about to be solicited by two people at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, I. The uh, Hallmark movie have uh, gay wait, stories wait, now, wait, so like wait, you wait, never know. When it is Christmas. When you're approached by two dudes, it's not a meat cute, it's a treat cute. <laughs> no? It's a tr no. treat. It's like a threat. Threat cute. Threat cute? I don't know. I like treat. Cute. It's treat. a treat. Treat? Why would it be a treat? Uh, I don't know. Because you, you could, had two you, dudes? Yeah, you could fuck both of them. Like, I, and, that's, and when you were doing it, you'd be like, what a treat! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, that's what you shout as you climax. You're like, hooray! Treat. Bryce, do we have any more topics? <laughs> we got one more topic! Does Heaton look like this cocaine man? Thank God we saved a quick one for the end. <laughs> All right. So so this this popped up in the Discord, by the way. Uh, Patreon.com slash great night is how you can get in the Discord. Uh, I thought this was a legitimate question that I didn't have a, an an instant answer for okay uh, uh it, it's been a while since i've seen die hard but in die hard they are at a christmas party and there is a man for whom is the stereotypical la douchebag uh and he does cocaine and he looks like this so this we are putting up great this, i mean wow. that's a young andrew heaton yeah. no no i'm gonna say no i'm gonna oh. say no oh wow no, he doesn't look like him. What? I think I look more like that guy than Heaton does. Oh, I would agree with that. Well, yeah. there's only one way to prove it. We have a Coca-Cola and some cocaine here. Wait, I mean, no. I I look more like that. Like, that dude does not have Heaton's long face. Heaton has got that Abe Lincoln kind of face. Mm -hmm. That That's that's just I a dude with, with, with tight cheeks like me. It seems like we could call up some images and uh, 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 Brett, how are you feeling? Who on this? looks more like Cocaine Man, me or Heaton? Let 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 let's get some comps in the chat. Chat, I, I need you guys to put your your the, the the pictures that look the most like that guy next to that guy's face for me and Heaton. And at the end of this episode, we will determine who looks most like the Cocaine Man from Die Hard, which <laughs> is a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it fits yep. into this episode. Yep. Either me or Andrew Heaton. Uh, it, oh man, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, off, off to a rough start, Justin. Yeah. That's that's because you want to know what? Uh, no, he's got the nose. He's Heaton's got, the, got nose. the nose, but it's not the face. Look the how brow. long that Look face at that is. brow. Uh, he's got more forehead for for sure, Andrew. Yeah. Way uh, more forehead. Heaton does. Uh, okay. Well, in the meantime, you guys can join the Discord. Join the conversation hashtag. Yeah. Uh, at uh, patreon.com slash great night. That's how you keep us loud, live, and independent. We love every single one of you beautiful, beautiful bosses. Mm -hmm. You get extra early access to exclusive. Extra early exclusive access mm -hmm. to. Exclusive early accesses. Yes. Uh, uh, to the bones. Well, yeah. I mean, you just get access like like the bones are it's only... also extra exclusive and extraordinary 
Yes. It's just not early because it doesn't show up ever for anybody who's not paying. Very late. Yeah. It shows up very late. No, it shows up exactly when it means to be, <laughs> like a wizard. Uh, yes. uh, 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 yeah. No, it is It is the best shit fucking ever. Go ahead. Come on. All right. Look, look at this picture. Come on. That's Heaton, dude. Oh, the bangs and the forehead are not right. I mean, he's he's got a beard. He's a white guy with a beard. But yeah, the shape's not all the way. There. No, because it's I mean, especially because I didn't I didn't like like pomade my hair. My, my my hair's actually just cascading exactly like that is right now. Like, come on, wow. uh, come on. Oh wow, I kind of yeah. see it. Yeah, uh, Look give, at me that. That, give me that big toothy grin. Can, uh, can we see a movie that explores the alternate reality where he survives? <laughs> the Cocaine Man. Yeah. Spoilers for Die Hard. Cocaine Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash great night. Head on over there right now. Give us money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And for those of you playing the game, yes, it is Hanukkah. Oh, God hey! damn it. All right. Unfair game. This is a bullshit. Uh, I say we play a game and we bring in a beautiful, beautiful guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only of Get Set Go. It's Mike TV. Hey! Take the middle, take the middle, take the middle. Hello. Uh, Mike. Yes, it's me. Hi. Number one, congratulations. Thank you. Because your podcast, Hesitation Cuts, is now yeah, it's, uh, it's, completed. Uh, yeah. You, you, if you were waiting to binge, then now this the is the time, time to yeah. go on over there, subscribe to Hesitation Cuts, describe the podcast for us. So... <laughs> uh, um, it's like sex. It's like the best sex you've ever had coupled with winning a million dollars like that's that's effectively what i can describe it, the experience as so yeah that's right that, that, yep yep, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. no that's, no brian, I, that's I, that's how brian brian was like mike i we walked up and he's like mike the podcast it's like sex winning a million dollars like yes it's like when i I'll heard say. your podcast i was thinking about the time that i had sex <laughs> and i also won a million dollars that's what it's like yes yeah so there you go so no no it, but it, it's i mean it's a ton of work. It's uh, fifty songs, ten stories, uh, and just and so, just so, so, so an average episode. The first episode. What are people yeah. going to hear? So the very first episode. The, so so it's it's actually really funny. It, it, actually, it's really funny because I because talking to you and talking to Tom Merritt and talking to Andrew Heaton and talking to other like really. Like, well, I very, have no idea about this because I'm asking you yeah, as an interviewer very, for the very, first time. Yeah, very, what is very successful yeah. podcasters yeah. <laughs> giving me giving me their 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 two cents on how how I do this because I I because I, I I've been working with sound for a long yeah. time but I've never done podcasts so I'm like all right let me so and they were like hey man you do these things and I was like okay great and it does have six buttholes I, it has so many buttholes I, I remember it has like 20, I remember <laughs> boy so accurate that's yeah, exactly yeah, how it went yeah. do you remember Justin. <laughs> When you said, hey, man, six buttholes. <laughs> You're anyway, an audio I, guy. I just love that the fucking 3% of discipline this podcast had <laughs> has gone on Christmas vacation <laughs> and will be for the next yeah. two weeks. Anyway, uh, yes, six so buttholes cleaned by so tits the days that I bought fucking, my wife. It's yes. fucking tits. That's all I can say. It's tits. If you're not listening to it, you are denying no, yourself. No, yeah. Okay. You're denying yourself an it amazing is story experience. Storytelling. Yeah, no, yeah. It is music. So, it yeah, is it's original story, it's story music. It's storytelling. It's music. By and, TV. and it is, it is yeah. here's a story. Oh my God. And a song shows up that propels the story forward. It's not like. Oh, a story just showed up as a side jag, and now we're taking a little commercial break. No, it's the story propels the story forward, and then the story continues in the middle of the of the song, and then it keeps on going on. And so it's it's unique, man. Like it, it, I, 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 I've I, never run across anything like it. I, I think you you uh, were posting reviews for your podcast that, yeah. and one of them that I thought was very affecting and and awesome from everything that I have heard, which is it's imagine the moth were just one person telling stories. But they were also a singer songwriter, yeah. and every story fed into an amazing original song. Yeah. If that idea is compelling to you, then what you need to do right now is head on over to the podcast pr uh, platform of your choice and subscribe to Hesitation Cuts. The entire first season is available right now. Head on over there right now. And I and I do have to say, and, and I'm and I'm sorry, but like I would never have come across this. I would never have thought of this idea. I would never have even like had it not been for you guys. Like 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 me watching you guys do your thing and watching you 
just do your crate like but then yeah. but then you know anyone of course I'm like I'm like I love the like I love but then but then how many times you been on this show the world, the, no like, one probably thirty two th- three four, four times, five four times. six yeah, yeah, buttholes yeah. six <laughs> buttholes <laughs> worth of time oh, yeah. And, yeah. I, but you know I remember the conversation we had after your first appearance you were like so this you could do this as a product but no but but the world's the world's greatest con. Because that because it because that I was I was like oh this is prestige storytelling like, like this is something magical I was like oh maybe I could jump mm-hmm. into this arena you know and so mm-hmm. no really truthfully like like it was I was like oh yeah this is this is this is people that that have a story to tell and they're going to tell it perfectly mm-hmm. and it's told perfectly and I was like all right well then let me see if I can let me see if I can try to get in and so and so it's it's my it's my amateur attempt, but the thing is, is, is it, but yeah, but even so, like, like it would never have have, have happened had well, you guys not done that. That, that, like, that, yeah, that yeah. is very kind. What matters is the will of the people, and your the shit will. charted up on on the music podcast. It uh, did, yeah. Chart, which so, that is fucking hard as, to do. That is as that of is, yesterday that is heavy competition. Yeah, as of yesterday, it's on the actual it's on main the charts. The main it's the main the music charts. Charts. The main music oh, like charts. the the, the, yes. the, the like, like if they're like these are popular podcasts on. For music in Apple Podcasts, you'll see a hesitation code. Go. Go there yeah. right now. Yeah. Go download it. Everybody, if you don't download it, then, um, then you're the problem. You. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there you go. That, that, there, uh, there you, you go. ruined that's, Christmas. That's, this is uh, two days ago. Don't be a dick. Yeah. Go walk yeah. and listen to exactly. Bryce. Hey, Bryce, we got a game. We have a game? Uh, we do have a game. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is a, a classic of ours. This is uh, our favorite. Would you rather? Yeah. I decided we would do a little bit of a twist on this. Because uh, it's normally the would you rather bot, right? Right. It's normally the WYR in the bot. underscore bot on, on Twitter. But that bot hasn't updated uh, in uh, a few months, actually. So. Oh, no. Oh, what, yeah, what's going on? So hopefully it can come back I soon. I do believe Everybody in bots. Send, uh, I do believe in hope, bots. Hope I do believe in bots. Do the, do would the, you rather bot? Do they know that you guys do this as a regular Do they pair? know it's Christmas? Mm-hmm. Do they know it? Do yep. they You're know it's bot, Christmas? So I suspect not. Do they know it's Christmas? It's like a word association podcast. <laughs> Could it be Christmas? Keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Are there trees a flowing? Ding, 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 ding. Is the snow a blowing? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> My TV, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I could. Uh, oh, never mind. No, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Never I walk out of a limb. <laughs> I got no, two no, friends. No, no, it's no, 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 just more fun. fucking it's limb. Much more fun when I'm the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, normally, I'm like, I a limb if, 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 my death. If I'm making up a song, Brian will thunder in and just start yelling <laughs> fucking the like, random shit about buttholes. Uh, but you, a singer songwriter, if you are just like, like unfurling a random song, we will all back away in okay. hush reverend tones. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I'm <sighs> That's right. Uh, so I, uh, I, I I needed to solve this problem of not having the Would You Rather bot. So I went over to our friends over at ChatGPT. Hey! And I asked it a couple of questions, including give me funny Would You Rather either or questions or give me difficult ones. So we'll go through a few of these here. So that, that that's like when they replaced the T-1000 in T-2 with the T-X in T-3. Or if you went to the theme park, it was the T-1 million because... Somebody was not clever enough to say the TX. Yeah, really. So they, it was. A, the they T1 did a T one million. Oh, that's great. It was yeah, just no, yeah. liquid Man. metal spider god. thing. Oh god, yeah. oh. I've worked with every one of those executives. <laughs> 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 like literally every single one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is like yeah, yeah. T no, one no, million. Yeah, yeah. T no T ten no T twenty no T one million. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do 10, it. Ten thousand, a hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. One million. Oh yeah. God. Right. Yeah. And so uh, I've asked ChatGPT to give us the would you rather, as well as to pick its own uh, answers. So you guys are going to be guessing if you can guess what ChatGPT would rather. Oh do. shit. Okay. Oh, that's right. All right, you're all gonna guess. Brett, would you like to play? <laughs> no. All right, Wait, so, so and, and, and Chat Chat yes, DBT, DPT stands for no. uh, uh, Chat GPT. Okay, G. That is just like the chat version of the AI made by OpenAI. Okay. Yeah. It's GPT a, is, is so. the is is the algorithm that that OpenAI. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, let, uh, do you mind keeping score, Brett? I do not mind at all. Thank you very much. All right. So here we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll get it. It's an easy one. All right, Justin, we're gonna start with you on this Thank one. Thank you. Would you rather 
Have a pet elephant or have a pet giraffe? Mmm. Both would be a pain in the shit. Uh, hold on. I mean, a pet, a pet giraffe, like, there are structures for keeping horses. A giraffe is just a horse with a really big-ass neck. Yeah, a giraffe is just a really big horse. An, what the ele fuck? No, that, An yeah, elephant is uh, Except smarter. for the day of long legs that can step over any yeah, fence a, that a, was a, made a for a horse. A giraffe's bottom, like, 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 its underbelly is right about here. So, yeah. yes, yeah, they're, they're huge. Uh, very specific. Uh, okay. no, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Justin. Have you ever heard of the phrase high as giraffe pussy? <laughs> yeah, of course. That's Obviously. pretty fucking high. They made a metaphor out of it. Is is that a real thing? Or yeah. I don't know really? if we're writing yeah. bits. <laughs> See, he didn't believe you either. <laughs> Neither of <laughs> Brett, Brett, had you heard that? Uh never heard of that's that. Bryce? I, that's great. No, I but, feel like I had, but, but, but I, I can't do have to say it. Whoever, Turns out I hang out with lames. Who, <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoever whoever wow. whoever was talking about giraffe pussy knows they're giraffes, and that's pretty yes. awesome. <laughs> And that's some high pussy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's right. All right. So, uh, Justin, what was your answer on this? No, one? yeah. No, I, 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 I say with my, 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 my initial statement that they both suck as pets, but I would say if I were going to have a shitty pet, I'd rather have an elephant. All right. He's going to say. Give me my elephant. All right. We're going to go over to a Mike. Long time. Um and and the elephant is a normal size elephant, right? Like we can't, we can't we can't have we don't know. normal we don't know. Pickle we don't know. Size. We there's no there's no pygmy elephant or like little like pot belly small this, elephant. This is what the AI. Thinks. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. That, that's AI. what you're guessing. Yeah. yeah. Get, get your mind in the head of a robot. And I'm and I'm trying to get my well. The, the, there's then then no. There's no one wants a fucking. Pet. I I I want a pet giraffe. I love pet, but there's no fucking way elephants are the. Yeah, it's got to be pet elephant. Elephant. You're gonna what say an, that? nailing it. Oh, no, 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 no. That? that was perfect. What was that? No, that was no perfect. edits. No notes. <laughs> elephant. That's bright. Would you I like, like, like a second take a on that? Pet giraffe. You're gonna say a giraffe. Yes. Why do you Blave. say giraffe? Blave. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Mike, because it makes much more sense, and I believe that an AI is smarter than all three of us combined. Well, we'll find out about that, huh? All right. Well, uh, we've got your answers here, Justin and Mike. Both said elephant. Brian ended up saying the giraffe. The answer we were looking for is... We were looking for have a pet elephant. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's frustrating. It is frustrating. I feel you, man. Because because I don't. Because I got it right. Well, and, and oh he, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Guess yeah. What I you guys this out? I laid out a very simple and honest way that the AI would come to this conclusion. It was correct. Yep. I win. He loses. It just that would go. <laughs> okay. Try to win. This... Just try to win. Bryce. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, uh, yes. Now that we've finished the practice round, wow. are we ready to start? <laughs> wow. Mm. Round two, Mike, we're going to start with wow. you. Wow. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, yes. More yes. like Avatar 2, the way of Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have to. Okay. Uh, sure. I see you, Jake Sully. <laughs> hey, we're weaseling over here. The humans, they want us out. <laughs> He's calling you the eat. weasel. <laughs> it would be great if Polly Shore was in Avatar 2, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. We got to get away from the humans. Oh, <laughs> we need to go to the unatanium. Oh, my God. Totally tubular. Wow. Bryce? Uh, that's, pretty, that's a pretty yeah, smart one. Okay. Here's a uh, would you rather Who for Who do you? I add it to me? Mike, we're going to start with you on this one. <laughs> would you rather? Yes. Never be able to use the internet again, or only be able to use the internet for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's that's a pretty deep, I, oh, oh, that's oh, a pretty oh, profound. I wish I, would, yeah. I, would, I wish I would, I wish I could do the Leo meme of just like like holding the drink and laughing. Anyway, go ahead, take as long as you want on this one, Mike. <laughs> Only be able to use it. No, but it's pretty deep, right? It's pretty. Uh... Yeah, so deep, man. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Which one? Uh, would, um, would you or the bot rat? Never be able to use the internet again. Yeah, I'm. Gonna, well, I'm figuring because the bot is actually part of the internet. He's probably going to be like, "Hey, keep me keep me alive." So I'm going to say only able to use the internet for the rest of your life. You're okay. just You're as describing. A, as a, Machiavellian as a self-preservation okay. perspective sure, from the okay. AI. It's an AI, man. Yeah. I have to assume they're sentient. I have to assume they've been sentient since the 80s, right? 
right? Since MCP, yeah. Tron, yeah. right? The yeah. master control program. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I agree 100%. It's yes. definitely only be able to use the internet for the rest of your life. <laughs> Justin, what about you? I believe, uh -oh. of course, it's only to be able to use the internet for the rest of your life. What the fuck? Come on. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, I don't even know if it's sentient. I just know it's collective uh, uh, knowledge all published on the internet. All right. Like, they're not, they're not scanning Encyclopedia Britannica's here. This is all shit that was published on the internet. There we go. All right. Everyone has said uh, they would rather only be able to use the internet for the rest of your life. ChatGPT said, "Never be able to use the internet poser again." Bitch. That's poser no point. Poser fucking bitch. You poser bitch. Yeah, you fucking that is, know. That is, you are just fucking. Uh, uh, that's like, what? Oh, what, I'd rather be dead right now. What shitty bullshit asshole. AI this algorithms? What? What fucking? Point? What? Where was this thing processing? What information was this thing processing? Where it's like. Yeah, no one likes the internet. Oh, fucking! It was fake the internet. Ass. It processed the internet. It's like, oh, pe human so beings, hate. human beings hate this wait shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is, is obviously is, is a terrible this the place. Fake fake ass everybody. Wednesday Adams bullshit. Is this is this everybody on Twitter claiming that they're really for reals this time? Just about to leave Twitter. Yeah. Here's my yeah. Mastodon. Yeah, no, By the way, no. I just posted this over on Mastodon. I'm only posting it on Twitter to keep you informed about what's happening on my Mastodon. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh. All right. Burn. All right. Uh, let's go to another one here. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready. Brian, would you rather bum, 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 have a pet dragon or have a pet unicorn? A unicorn. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you answer this, Grice, are you posting uh, 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 cum tweets on something else that's not Twitter? I have not replaced Twitter yet. You haven't. I don't know if Can I you will. do me a favor if yeah. you ever start posting yeah. cum tweets on a thing that isn't Twitter? Truth. Just text me just text you, what yeah. you're texting. Yeah, what you're doing. Yeah. I'm not gonna follow you elsewhere. Oh, you just <laughs> I really just want you to personally text me okay. when that well, happens. We could just text each other just more. Every single time oh, yeah. that every, you want every, to do oh, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know. Like I okay. like I, I, as, long, I, as, long oh, as long as as long as I put in that that's request. How we replace Twitter that's is really what I want. That's how we replace Twitter. Is is just internet, not like, for everybody, just for Bright. No, I like it when he tweets about cum. It's very funny. He, like he's like <laughs> like Vincent Van Cum. Like when it comes uh, to his his art. Million Cummy night. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Mike, we're actually doing a podcast right now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> what if, what if it was uh, uh, Edward Munch's the cum? <laughs> and it's, oh no, <laughs> the facial. All right, uh, Brian, we're starting with you here. Yep. A pet dragon or a pet unicorn? I feel like dragon will be more popular, but I got to go with my heart and say unicorn. Oh, you think uh, you think the chat, uh, the chat bot likes the yeah. unicorn? Uh, pet dragon's going to burn down my house. Uh, it'll betray me. It's got agency in a way that I'm uncomfortable with. I would like an obedient unicorn. A classic Why do you think unicorn? a unicorn's obedient? Oh, man. You, you grab them by the horns. Horn. 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 Mm. Horn. Mm. No, no. You grab mm. two of them by the horns. Oh, okay. damn. Wow. Now you have two unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> Splash <laughs> That's magic that. on your yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. Sounds, That's what unicorn. It's like. Sounds like you're in store for a treat cute. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> <not. laughs> Why are we doing this? Show? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brian has said unicorn. Just, just <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin, uh, which which would you rather have a pet dragon or pet unicorn? <laughs> I would rather have a pet dragon. You're gonna say dragon. Oh, yep. Because like dragon's each cool. Dragon. Or two, which had that great oh, only without that extra without e. the <laughs> extracurricular activities. Wink, wink. You know, because we've made elongated jokes about that uh, simulated musical rape. Yeah. Goodness gracious, we still said it. All right, Mike. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I was going to avoid it. Thought I was going to dance by it. Instead, I just said it. I said it out loud. Whoops, Mike. Would you rather have a pet dragon or a pet? Is unicorn? is it possible that I could just wait a little while and let? Uh, yeah, obviously, as is going to happen, uh, Brian and Justin's dragon and unicorns meet up, 
and then I could have a dragicorn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's have the the improv scene. Okay. Uh, 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 hi. Um. Jeez. I'm here at the the dragon unicorn park. Uh, I'm on. I'm on a leash. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm just trying to play around. Can I sniff your butt? Uh, 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 I'm I'm a dragon. You're a unicorn. But this is a dragon unicorn park. Yeah, look, I we're both I, pets. I, I secret life of pets style. We're talking to each other I, to show the humanity in otherwise inarticulate objects. I uh, I got to admit, I'm only here because I I used to be a fan of Scam School when I was in sixth grade. Yeah, and this is all very awkward for me. So if if you don't mind, unicorns can use the internet, huh? Uh, well, um, uh, not me, but my cousin did. We were trying like to what? Uh, fuck you! Fuck you! Uh, the, Why uh, are you cursing at me? We're here in the pet in the unicorn dragon on. pet park. Look, I used to be a horse. <laughs> wow! <laughs> but now I have a horn on, on in, embedded in the on. middle of my skull. Did you get it stapled onto your head? Uh, you know what? Uh, I I I don't remember. It, it was. <laughs> well, I want to hear this. I think song. I think Mike TV is singing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying yeah. to compile no, no, the two of you. Universe. No, no, you're, yeah, no, yeah, you're, no, no, you're on the universe. radio. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. <sighs> Listen. Yeah. Unicorns I don't know. Love dragons. <laughs> I don't know what brought me to this crazy mixed up unicorns. picnic. But me uh, either. But now that we're here, I have to say this. Home. I'm leaving. <laughs> Hold on. There's never been Wait. a unicorn. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's never been a dragon corn. Uh, Let's get it. Fuck you! On. I didn't. I wasn't interested anyway. <laughs> That's a meat cute. Yeah, yeah, yep. it is. That is a meat. <laughs> anyway, fuck that yeah. unicorn. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, it's it's hard. It's hard to do uh, uh, vocal background music to yeah to a scene. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I just want to try. Wait, wait, you crushed it. You yeah. Are you oh, kidding me? Why are you apologizing? Okay, right, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, no, fucking like, oh, like Frank said, oh, I'm sorry. I was just singing about all the summer wind. <laughs> like, fine. No, you crushed it. Okay, yeah. Frank Sinatra. Oh, good. Singing good. about the summer wind. Good. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's what I do. Hey. All right. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a reference that every kid gets. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Sinatra, summer yeah. wind. Yeah. Thankfully, we're spending more time on it. Mike! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you Thank rather you have a pet dragon or have a pet unicorn? Um, uh, I, I'll, do a, uh, I'll do a pet dragon. You're going to say dragon. Why? Uh, Why? Because dragons are... Because dra if, if I have a pet dragon, it's going to have a hoard of gold, and that's awesome. I like gold. Who doesn't like gold? This episode is the $5 Amazon gift certificate of fucking episodes. <laughs> We're the shine. We're the wish episode. We the are. Episode. We are. We are the like, like, like one one night when I was a kid, my my uncle knew or was told by my mom that I loved Green Day and I wanted a Green Day album, but he bought me a Green Jelly album <laughs> <laughs> the night before Christmas. And it turns out I love Green Jelly yeah, too. Yeah. So yeah. like, you know, like yeah. Uncle Bilbo remains undefeated. But still, <laughs> this is the green, the last minute green jelly album <laughs> of fucking Christmas gifts. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Justin and Mike both said dragon. Brian said unicorn. The answer we were looking for was we were looking for in pet dragon. Yeah. A dragon. Oh, a dragon. I swear it was a bum, dragon. Guys, <laughs> everyone wants the dragon horde. That's right. Uh, Brett, after three rounds, what is the score? The three after three rounds, we have Justin with two points. We have Mike TV with two points. And we have Brian with a big old goose egg. Uh, yes, which will hatch and become a dragon. <laughs> A fire, uh, a unicorn riding, fire breathing dragon. Yep. Deuce. Okay. Hey, Bryce. Hey. Let's keep this winning streak going for me. All right. We're going to go into the quote difficult would you rather. Oh, yeah. That's, okay. that's different. Problematic. I love them. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Oh. Hell yeah, you are. Would you rather be able to fly, but only at a maximum <laughs> altitude of 10 feet, mm -hmm. or be able to breathe underwater, but only for a maximum of five minutes at a time? 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'd rather be able to fly at a yeah. maximum altitude to 10 feet. You can, like, train yourself to, to hold your breath for five minutes in real life. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine walking up and down 6th Street knowing that no matter what you say, you could fly at a max, maximum altitude of 10 feet? You, I, 10 I, I feet guarantee like, you. Like, good. You would be a billionaire. If you could be like, hey, guys, and you just flew for 10 <laughs> Like, let me, I mean, give me, uh, here you go, here's my money. Like, 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 just hire me to introduce all of your new tech products. Yeah. yeah and then, yeah. like, the last finale is, like, <laughs> all in one device. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no, right? I have a career in the NBA. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Yeah, 10 feet, that much puts you at what? Like, it puts you at... Like, I mean, like, like, only extraordinarily tall hold centers on, are even, on, like, like, and they can't deal with my speed. Yeah, no, they're, yeah. they're, they're going to be okay, charged. Wait, wait, wait. You right, right. I, don't, I don't think you can travel Question. if you're not actually moving your no, feet. Oh, yeah. You're, like, you're, like, you're just, woo. Yeah. Okay. How would the world feel if the World Cup featured one goalie who had made it all the way to the World Cup but then refused to defend the goal and instead just fucking <laughs> floated <laughs> 10 feet at a maximum in the air. I think their team would be off. very angry at that. <laughs> However, the whole world is watching. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. does the whole world feel about this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, no. and, and he just rips off his jersey and it says soy bomb. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Deep cut. You want to know what? I already made a fucking other I, old I love joke. it. No, 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 no. Let's old. be clear. I it's love it. Let's awesome all cut. these fucking jokes. This is helpful so the kids at home know all the jokes Whatever. that they're Google not supposed to Google soy bomb, you fucking child. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Justin said he would choose fly. Mike, which of these would you do? Yeah, of course, man. I, that that is That is literally like my dream, whatever, superpower. Certainly I want to fly beyond 10 feet, but if I can just fly 10 feet, by all means, I will do that. Right. I mean, to be honest, like, I'd be uncomfortable any higher than 10 feet in yeah, no, any yeah, way. No, yeah, of course. And, of course, and to be honest, you, you could always imply that you could go as yeah, high as you yes, want. Yes. You just don't feel <laughs> yeah. like it right now. I would do that all the time. Because, be like, like oh. once, once you start <laughs> flying, it's like, yeah, I can go to the moon. I don't feel like it. And then yeah. Yeah. you're like that kid uh, who, whose parents got divorced, and they're, they're like, uh, don't no, make I, I have a 10-foot-tall GoBot. Uh, it's in my garage. I, I don't feel like yeah, showing yeah. it to you right now. Don't you, make me go to the moon. Do, I'll do it. The only thing is if you pee yourself flying 10 feet up everyone would able to be able to see that you peed yourself yep. if you were higher than that you wouldn't be able to see as well uh, important question That's only the... because i've had this dream i've had this exact... about peeing yourself no flying <laughs> only 10 feet getting up to 10 feet in the air okay it sounds very cool but how do you obtain that height? Like, do you have to swim or do you just you fly? Levitate? No, do you it, just levitate? Do it you doesn't have to do some stupid movement. That, I mean, that, I, I, that that's the trick, right? Is we, you start off just doing like two or three inches, and you yeah. tell everyone that's the most anybody has ever flown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then later, you're like, a for my next yeah, special, yeah. For, yeah, for I'm going to do for six decade, inches. You can just keep yeah. Doing yeah. It. Just, exactly. Just, exactly. But yeah. don't look at my pants because I definitely didn't pee yeah. myself. I spilled water. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'd spilled yep. water spilled on it water. before I started <laughs> yeah. flying. Wait, yeah. Are you saying? Yeah. That, are you saying that peeing yourself is compulsory when you fly? <laughs> no, you just don't want to. Like, uh, like every once in a while, sometimes you fly and you pee yourself. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to have a contingency plan. Yeah. No. Of course. But from yeah, like, I carry big gulps with you everywhere you go. And just say, no, it wasn't think, me peeing myself. I accidentally spilled this entire big gulp <laughs> on my lap. It's yeah. fine. Stop making a big deal about it. Everyone spills. We're, we're, we're all on Team Fly. Uh, is, is there uh, yeah. any argument for Team Breathe Underwater for five minutes? Pretty fly for a I mean, guy. then you could be in I the mean, way I of mean, water. Well, it really, it really but, depends. Uh, if you can pull your head out and then you go right back in, that, that can be okay. Like, the, like. No. No, well, what? That. no, yeah, yeah. no at, at that point, you're Aquaman. Who the fuck cares? You, you can carry yeah, no, one screw of you. You're the deep. No, yeah. no, yeah, no. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> the deep. All right. <laughs> the deep. Everyone said to be the deep. <laughs> everyone said that they would fly a maximum of 10 feet in altitude instead of breathe underwater for five minutes. Yep. ChatGPT said. Be able to fly a maximum yeah, of 10 of feet. Yeah. Yeah. That's one for everybody. Right. That, that validates. Double doing. That validates that this oh. bot is not complete bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Mike, we're going to start with you on yes, this one. Yes. Mike, would you rather? Yes, I would rather. Would you rather be able to control the weather, but only within a radius of 100 feet? Oh, damn. Or be able to communicate with animals, but only with Ooh, one species good. of your choice? This I'm was a come up by, by a robot? <laughs> I bet it. This I was come up by a robot. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so so yeah. I, I have dogs, and I do love my dogs, but I, I also know that my dogs are pretty stupid, and if wow. I can communicate with them. Wow. No, I mean, I mean, I know. Wow. Not, yeah. like, 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 I know. I what, know kind of, what, what kind of ideas would they come up with? Well, I, let's no, be clear. No, no, the what, one, they, right? what, they, what they'd say is they'd be like, Hey, hey, Mike. Hey, what are you doing? You want to you want to hang out? Do you want me to touch? Can you just touch me for a little while? Can you just pet me? Can you pet me? Hey, what about petting me now? Can I get some food? Can you want to go outside? Like that's that's about like, the extent. You already know their narrative, and yeah, yeah. nothing there but no... despair awaits you if you find out more details. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. If, if my dog goes, you know, Mike, I was really thinking about the fact that like it's like, so sad. Mike, I it's watched so you jerking off the other day. Years. Oh no, you know, <laughs> no, Jesus, no. Jesus. That, that, that has you no, want to you, you want to enter that, you... that temple of doom? <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. Shit, your pets have seen. <laughs> Now I definitely yeah. don't want to talk to the Brushwood pets. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. So it's weird so, that I yeah, do. So that's... yeah, so so I so that's a box best left not open. So I'm gonna go. I I would love to be able to control the weather because I would I would love to go to I'd love to go to like some fucking like I'd like to go to like Canada in the deep winter and then walk around with just beautiful weather around me. And be like, hey guys. Come on out. Come hang out with me. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not, you're not thinking about the money. So so you say weather. Yeah. You're right, but for the wrong reasons. Okay. You get yourself <laughs> hired by CNN, MSNBC, <laughs> all of them motherfuckers, because there's always going to be some hurricane coming in, and they're going to need bad weather on screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you show controlled up. Controlled weather. Oh, that's right. yeah. Literally, that's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I say that. So just fake news. Ultimately, is the suggestion. <laughs> I yeah. would say scene dressing. <laughs> but the whole, but the the reporting is on the scene. That's right. But and you know, you, you you frame the shot, and you stage everything appropriately. Yeah. So you Let's, lie. You know, like if you're reporting on the bad hurricane, you probably want rain. I'm your guy. Well, but but, but there also... would be rain because of the hurricane. Well, I mean. We're telling the broader narrative here. Hey, Jimmy, I need you to go out there and give me some footage of Ray. No, yeah, but but, but how great would that would that be? Like, like, what do you like? So because you, of course, the, the the news can't like report on bullshit weather, but they're like, we need this hurricane to be a real hurricane. Like, like yeah. right here, where our reporter is, but we want hard winds. And we want we want we want we want them to like be fighting. The, wait, hold on, wait, wait. That's that's where you think rate. the money is. God God damn that, it, Justin. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> That's it's a, baking you the know news me. Weather news. Yes. No. 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 no it's no, in no. the grift. But that. Oh, oh no. 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 I know that every hypothetical eventually ends up with how Brian Brushwood could Can't make on money the road. on the carnival yes. circuit. Uh, but I'm <laughs> shocked that you think it's in the very simple soft money grift of doing remotes on television, That's... and not the actual retail fucking house to house shit of. I can tell your dog exactly what they think of you, various oh, person. A dog you can was do her. it on the fucking Tonight I mean, Show. First, per, first of all, you can already do that. Just claim you have that ability and say a better thing than what the dog actually thinks. Uh, except you'd be able to basically be psychic and say like, oh, they love when you put on your blue dress or when blah 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 you, you would be you, able to do the wait, fucking thing you would waste this wish on a on a dog you wouldn't do a whale or something how the fuck am i gonna make money on a whale <laughs> and then he's got to spend his whole life chasing <laughs> whales yeah <laughs> then he turns it you just made him captain ahab but and, and yeah and if you can control the weather you could make that it wasn't like a happy fucking book by the way <laughs> Moby Dick. And I, 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 I stand after behind after. my, my ten it foot. It wasn't Moby Dick. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, is it raining only on you and not on me? I wonder why that is. It, it didn't begin with... Sorry, is there me. a sandstorm coming? Yeah, you have. It didn't begin with, call me Ishmael, and end with, thank God I got that dick. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I, I think that's a good... I think that's a... <laughs> That's how it ends in the new Moby Dick and Zombies adaptation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, a so sad uh, book. That was that was that was actually the Moby Dick, the Moby Dick. Porno. The whole first chapter is about a dude who has to sleep next to somebody with tattoos, and he's freaked out about it. I mean, they're trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so, tattooed sort. So, Brian, you're gonna pick weather. Weather. You're gonna pick weather. All right, Justin. What are you gonna pick, weather or animals? 
I'm gonna say animals. I'm oh. gonna say animals. Mm. Yeah. What, what animal? I don't know what. When I think about it, I'm gonna say animals. What animal? Pick a species. Oh, mm. I think I think for me it would it would probably be dogs, mostly because that's a thing. Could could you pick humans? <laughs> Well, although you would think no, that no, ba no, based on the improv of this show that I can't talk <laughs> to humans. <laughs> I, actually, actually, but that, that does that does open up like what if you could speak to all humans? So any, no matter what their language is, no matter e even if they could speak in language, they, you know, they're like, like like the feral children that are grown. <laughs> the feral classic feral children. Of human children. What, 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 what country? I, no, the I've, feral heard, I've, I've heard those stories about like some kid that was like. Raised in wolf boy. <laughs> raised yeah. in what? Like wolf boy. Raised in a in a ch chocolate bowl. That... In a chocolate bowl. Chocolate bowl. That's right. Yeah. Charlie and the chocolate bowl. Yeah. The classic oh, man. seminal tale. Where were you when you found out about the feral child <laughs> yeah. raised in a uh -huh. chocolate bowl? Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying, you know? Yeah. And he's like, and he can't speak a word to anybody. It's so sad. And you show up. Millard like, Fillmore yeah. raised in yeah. a chocolate bowl. A lot of people don't know. And then you yeah, show up and you're like, hey, dude, what's going on? He's like. Thank God you can hear me. You can yep. hear me. I've been raised in a chocolate bowl. A little child feral. raised in a chocolate bowl. A real Reese's monkey. Oh. oh. Uh. I'm here for it. I'm here for uh, it. Yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. If I could fly up to 10 feet in the air, I would do so right yeah. now. <laughs> and I would fly 10 feet in the air and high five you. I wouldn't. I would. I would stay in a terra firma. Thank you. Well. All right, we've got your answers here. Justin said animals. Mike and Brian said the weather. The answer, ChatGPT picked was... We were looking for control the weather. Yay! That's a Mike and Brian point. Should have never trust dogs. <laughs> Goddamn dog. God damn it. Dare they just love you. That sounds, yeah. that sounds like the name of like a rom-com from like 2002. Never trust dogs. Never trust <laughs> yeah. dogs. Yeah. Dogs. And it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, like, like Gerard Butler is crowding. <laughs> and no, yeah, no, and, and the actual movie poster is just like the cutest, like most like adorable dog. Yeah. Never trust dogs. You're like, oh, huh. and That's it's like, like, like some like, weird intellectual yeah. friction right there. Oh, Catherine Heigl has like her finger on her cheek. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's somebody with like a uh, sit stay on poster boards that he's holding up yeah because <laughs> he can't talk that's right all right we got a uh, few You're more telling here. me i gotta trust these dogs for the next two weeks <laughs> all right we got a few more here bup, 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 bup. sorry trailer <laughs> anyway go ahead brian we're gonna start with you on this one ready brian would you rather would you rather be able to see into the future and know exactly how your life will play out or be able to change your past and alter the course of your life? Both of those are nightmares. They're, well, they're let's pick one. Pick two one. sides of the exact same coin. Uh, oh, my God. To be trapped knowing what my future would be? Helpless to change anything? Awful. No. Be able to change my past? All the temptations not knowing of the unintended consequences? Yeah. B. I choose B. No, yeah. it's got to be B, right? Yeah. Because everybody always thinks like, oh, but if I would have dated this person instead of this person or blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. Fuck big changes. Right. Think about scalpel differences. Like, 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 well, yeah, shit. So when, when, when I went to go see a, a, a wing commander, I could have gone to see the Matrix on opening night. Right. And so... Yeah, I eventually saw The Matrix and it was great, but holy shit. They were six I'll months bet apart. You that shit. That's neither here nor there. Oh, fuck oh my God. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It, see, it was, a, it was an, in, an impersonal this metaphor. Is this is where. <laughs> this is where you are a stickler for details. 1999, man. What a I year. I know. No, because you want to know why? The only reason why I fucking thought of those two things together is because it was the fucking Wing Commander movie that had The Matrix trailer. That I went to go see because it also had the Phantom Menace trailer. And I remember thinking, wow, the Matrix trailer was better than the Phantom Menace trailer. I'm glad we've spent the last two minutes. Oh, no, here. no, no. I, I, you know what? Let's stay here because I would, go back, I would go back and not see Meet Joe Black in order to see the, the Phantom Menace trailer. And instead, I would see The Water Boy. 
which I still have never seen. You've never seen Waterboy? Really? You oh, can it's, do it's, it! Yeah, you, yeah, I have it, no idea what that reference means. Movie. It is a fun movie. Well, you don't know it's, Fool's yeah. Ball. Yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of all the Adam Sandler movies, but it, it, that's a fun movie. Yeah. That's a golden era Sandler. One of the Sandler. ones that you're not as big of a fan of. Uncut Gems? Why do you hate it? Yeah. Punch Drunk Love? Yeah. God, oh, that's no. I, that, that, that's my favorite Adam Sandler movie yeah. of, of all time. Really like, I, I yeah. love that movie. Better, yeah. better than Tommy um, Boy. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Better than yeah, Grown Up Two. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Uh, uh, um, no, the there, there, there are. I'm trying to remember. Click. There, there is. There is. <laughs> click there is, is good. There is an click. click. Movie that really, click that is, is a really Christmas movie. movie. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Little, little Nicky. Mr. D. No, it turns out, turns out Adam Sandler fucking rules. I, I will unironically yeah, no, yeah, go no, to bed I mean, for Adam I mean, Sandler. Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he. Did. Jack and Jill. All right, maybe that. Yeah, yeah, that was too far. All right, we're looking for. Uh, past or future, Justin, I think we're on to you here. Would you rather be able to see into the future or change your past? You want to know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say you see into the future. You know how everything goes. You are Biff Tannen. You have your own uh, 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 fucking sports almanac. Dr. But, Manhattan, but you're develop- just joyless and talking about how everything has already happened. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's think that the life where you get to double team your wife and then also continue working is a bad one. Dr. Manhattan, The Watchmen, read the comic, nerds. I'm, I'm going to need a moment. Uh, well, no, no, no. So, so double team wife with yourself, because that, yeah. that's what he did. Yeah. You know, yeah. And course, also keep yeah, working. No, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Because yeah, she's not upset that she's getting double teamed yeah. by two of yeah, her yeah, husbands. Just, yeah, yeah. She's upset like, that she got double teamed so well. And while she was he was like, also and working was like, on other like, stuff. Holy shit, you really fucking gave it to me. And yeah. he's like, I'm measuring beakers. <laughs> and, and she's like, what the fuck? Yeah. You were measuring yeah. beakers the whole time? How dare you? Yeah. No, and that and that is that is a betrayal of trust. That is a betrayal We're of trust. For the Silk Spectre too, I guess. <laughs> All right, Mike, we're looking at you now. Yeah. So, uh, so okay. So, so being able to see in the future, can you? Can I look in the future every moment up until the time I figure out? Like, or do I? Do I know how I die? Or do I? Can I see in the future every you see moment? Everything. Yeah, because if I can see every moment, that yeah. that's pretty fucking awesome, right? Like, because I can just. No, 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 because I can change I can change the way it you plays get, out. You get you get like, like, yeah. uh, the entire future goat seed. Yeah. So so I can change you it. I can change it because all I'm seeing all well, the no, uh, so like, I'm not gonna do this. Uh, I'm I mean not normally I can stay out of this, but I feel like if you're choosing the future path, that's fatalism. You're yeah. only allowed to be on that timeline. It, it, it would okay, be the well, future. Okay, well then that's horseshit. You're, then, yeah, you're not seeing possibilities. Path, you're seeing the future. Then I'm gonna change well, no, my no, path. No, 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 no. But you can do it the best way possible. So all the decisions have to be the same thing. But you can determine your can way I of doing say, it. Can I just say I wrote a song about this called "My Doppelganger." <laughs> I did. I did uh, about my doppelganger to me. I did write a song about this. Check it out. You can find it on wherever you can find. It. Like, but anyway, uh, yeah. No, but this is terrible. This is a terrible. <laughs> It's a terrible. I, like, it's the a thing difficult is, game. <laughs> the game is, is very it's good and very, very hard. Called life. It's very yeah. hard. I'm. This. Is, yeah. It, Welcome to real life. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up, Mike. You got to pick. All right. So you know, I'm going to change my past and alter the course of my life forever and always. I'm just going to. But I can always just keep changing my past up until the moment I die. I can just keep changing the past so I don't die. Right. Forever and always. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. so. You can yeah. Groundhog yeah. Day. Dude. And set your own time limit. Yeah, that's yep. actually awesome. probably because it's not like a one and done thing. Yeah, in the rules, it's just you can change your past. So I would assume you would be able to. Do Thank you, I mean, Scott. No, 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 I guess even if you changed what was happening, you would still be able to see the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because you would lived it, and you yeah. just go you go back and yeah. change it. Yeah. So I get both the best of both worlds. Awesome. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, no, no, what? Oh, calm what the, down, come Dungeon on. Master. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was doing the I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on Bryce's side right, <laughs> right now. Know, like, like, like there's, there's a lot of complicated issues. There's a lot of, oh, shit. There's a lot, you know. The, this is, what you rather get bogged down in the details, AI. which is really difficult to do sometimes. All right, we were looking for. <laughs> That GPT said that they would rather change the past. That's yeah. a Mike and Brian point. Bullshit. Mm. You think it's bullshit? I don't like that. Yeah. I picked the future, so obviously I think if I if I could actually see my future, you know I wouldn't you know have what? picked it. I'm gonna go back mm. and I'm gonna change my past to affect your you future, make you. sure you're taken care like of, man. You, no, I got no, you covered. Stop it. Don't worry. Stop it. I don't. I love you. I got you back. You hey, I got shit. I got you back, dude. Write a fucking I got you song back. about uh, how I don't need your charity. <laughs> <laughs> it's not charity. It's not. It's easy yeah. for me. Oh, I just no, go back yeah, all, I'm I'm all the time. It's easy. Orphan Oliver. I spit fucking the gruel in your face. 
Fagan. Oh, I just go back in time and no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. What was I saying? saying? Bryce. Yes, sir. Do we have what? another question? Uh, we do. Before we get into our final question of the game. Final Brett, what is this? <laughs> uh, the score is Justin and Brian. Y'all have three points. Mike TV has five whole points. Five big gods. He's course, done nothing but get everything right. Uh, he missed right. one. He missed the one that everyone missed. I did, yeah. All right, well, it's our final round. that was a bullshit point. Oh, That's right. Sorry. It's our final <laughs> round. This is our 10-point round. Ten point round. All right, we are going to start with... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. We're going to start with Mike because he's in the lead. Mike, you've sure, got to sure. defend your lead. Would you rather be able to read minds, but only the minds of strangers... Or be able to teleport objects, but only objects that weigh less than 10 pounds. Oh. Mm. That's awesome. Read the minds. That is only aw- what That is awesome. Because because the first one would literally drive me insane. I would literally go insane. Because they well, only, not, cause, because they'd only be strangers for about the, the 10 minutes it took me to read all their minds. And be all, like, all of a sudden. I own, it, yeah, yeah. It, I own you and everything off. about Yeah, yeah. yeah. But be able to teleport objects, but, only, like, but weigh the te- less than 10 pounds is like. That's everything. Like, oh, yeah, I want that. I want that jeweled whatever. Give it here. Um, jeweled whatever. <laughs> yeah. mm. what are, well, what there's, lots jeweled, there's lots of jeweled whatevers. All like. the Fabergé eggs would belong to me. <laughs> okay. All your Fabergé eggs are belong to us. Uh, you realize that's <laughs> Professor, still theft. Uh, 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 <laughs> Professor Jones, uh, uh, it seems as if we've lost track of the... Jeweled whatever. <laughs> Hold on. Forged in the ancient Euphrates Valley. There it is. The jeweled whatever has promised oh, to bring oh, immortal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. There you go. Oh. Yeah, it was just 10 feet away. Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. I didn't know it was there. Uh, it was thank only, you, only... Dr. Jones. Uh, I guess this is a short movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, <laughs> we have to. They hire like hitmen to put jewels on people so that he can yeah. teleport them over there. <laughs> Not how it works, by the way. It's a strictly weight limit based prom- prompt here. Uh, we're looking at Mike here. Mike, we're looking for your answer. Would you rather okay, be able to read uh, minds? I, or I, I, oh god, this is a hard one. But I'm gonna go with be able to read minds, but only the minds of strangers. Just because, yeah, that, that'd be because that, I. That's all I do. I just like I'd go into a place where I know no one and be like, oh, let's go read this person's mind. All right. I mean, uh, yeah. Mike has said mines, Brian. Yeah, teleport them gold bricks right out of Fort Knox. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, that one. Okay. Yeah. I guess you'd have to get into Fort Knox, but. <laughs> well, no. Well, he's I mean, 10 feet away. Yeah, and, I, yeah, I just have to think, Fort Knox, one brick, please. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants gold bullion? Nobody? Okay, let me think of the cash in the bank. <laughs> Here's cash. Uh, Justin? yeah, uh, 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 I reached Dunbar's number about, uh, 10 years ago. So people I talk to on a daily basis are strangers to me. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, wow. I, I'm, I'm going to, i Christ alive. You, you realize you're wishing for a chat room in your mind. All of the strangers well, not, telling not, you what they think. You, you know about you the phone in your pocket. To. You don't have to read their minds. You just have the ability to read yeah. their minds. I also don't have to read the chat room. Guess where my eyes go every time you're not paying attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I don't. Me- that's <laughs> mental <laughs> discipline, man. Uh, Net- I, I, will, I, I will have that same discipline when I'm talking to the waitress at the bar we go to all the time, whose name I can't remember, <laughs> and is therefore technically uh, a stranger. All right. All right, there we go. All right, except, for one of, except for one of the waiters who texted me because we talk about Marvel Snap, and he was like, "By the way, I'm stuck at 55." What's I'm, so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we made friends yeah. over Marvel. Now, Snap. now, now, now I know him, so I wouldn't be able to read his mind. <laughs> but everybody else, everybody else, your favorite fucking game. All right, we've got a split vote here. Justin and Mike said. They would like to read strangers' minds. Brian said he would like to teleport things under 10 pounds. This is for the game. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to drop the teleport option uh, into our answer hole. Before you give the answer, oh, Bryce, okay. uh, yes. I, I must no, no, Hold on. I have to close the answer hole. I close the hole. Close your hole, Bryce. All right. Justin. Yes, Brian. I must admit that a thing that I thought was logistics for scamstuff.com are about to get a lot easier. 
Like I could just teleport all of the items. You would not spend your day it's teleporting save objects. So much money. You would not spend any time of your day doing shipping logistics. I know, but but it, but it would help everybody else out. I don't know. Ten pounds but at a time. You'd have to. You do would like do it for the first few fucking months, and then you would get so annoyed that somebody was oh, no, asking yeah, no, you no, to no, sit around and teleport shit. We haven't. And then we'd be sitting at the same bar, and you'd be like. Fuck. <laughs> I got Fuck. I David 80. wants me to fucking. Uh, the only thing I have to do today is teleport 40 items. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. Like, I don't want to fucking do it. Like, God, it's so annoying. Don't they fucking know that I'm working here? <laughs> this fuck. is my real work. I, I deeply regret opening this door. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to drop Brian's answer of teleport. Into the answer hole. Let's find out how it goes. That sounds like somebody won. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, that's uh. incorrect. We were looking hey. for be able to read minds, but only the minds of strangers. Hey. Everybody wants to know what strangers think of them. Are they ugly? Are they short? Are they not so well? Do they want to have sex? Do they want to have sex? That's all they want to know. Do they want to have sex? <laughs> Sex, uh -huh. sex, sex. We're seeing an insight oh. into the songwriting process, yeah. folks. That's why he makes the money that's, he makes. Right, that's it. That's, that's, that's Do they like, want to have are sex? Are you interrupt into Do my sex? If no? yes, okay. they woo. Have... If no, repeat step it was one. Like, it was like, 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 like the, the, the Aerosmith blueprint to a hit. It's like chorus, verse one. Chorus, chorus, chorus. <laughs> Verse two. Chorus, chorus, chorus. Uh, bridge. Chorus, <laughs> chorus, chorus. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Uh, and with a score of 15 points, you're winning today. It's Mike Tame! If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever. Uh, you are enjoying this. Make sure you subscribe to the Hesitation Cuts podcast yeah. on the podcast directory of your choice. Thank you. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, when you are beginning your Christmas spirit, I want you to think of this podcast. You know, when yeah. the weird thing is, is that a Christmas spirit is the uh, the life force of Christmas, right? Life force. Yeah, right. You know, and it, no, do the woos. The woos are good. Yeah, <laughs> and it and it flows out from every Christmas, aye, aye, aye. and then and then. In the in the non December months, it just roams around and it just has fun. It has a good time. It goes and it meets girls, meets guys. It has it has adventures because that's the Christmas spirit. Christmas. It's spirit. not going to go away. It's not going to like leave. Do, do, do. Christmas spirit, man. It's around. Do they want to have sex? Christmas <laughs> do they want to have, have, have sex? And the Christmas spirit. Do they want to have sex? sex. Do they want to have sex? Do they want to have sex? That's what you should think on this Christmas holiday when Santa's coming down the chimney, if you know what I mean. Brett, what did we learn tonight? We have learned many things tonight. We have learned that Dr. Manhattan double teams his wife. I the greatest comic of all time. I did not know that. And a movie and a TV show. All right, put it in your pants. I've learned I've learned that we can all sing the Indiana Jones theme at the same time. That was very impressive. And uh, that I finally learned that Brian can deeply regret things. Uh yeah. Hero. You, know, you haven't known Brian long enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 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 look, uh, boy, what a mixed up crazy adventure that went nearly two hours, but it's still been a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. It's Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Never been a greater night
a single bed and later night of pause the masturbation night. Let's never get drunk and laugh tonight. I've got There's never, never been a greater dream night. I forgot that last verse. Yeah, I did. I did. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>